So if you own an FDM 3D printer and a good supply of filament, I think your next purchase needs to be a food dehydrator. So many of you have probably watched my video from a couple days ago where I printed this kind of a retraction test pyramid part. Um, and then I showed you how to use a heat gun to remove the strings. This part, which is remarkably string free, was printed with that same filament. All I did was buy this guy on Amazon for I believe $54 and dried my PLA, my matte fiber protopasta PLA for about 12 hours at 140 degrees F. Pretty amazing. So, for not a whole lot of money, you can save your filament if it happens to get a little too wet from sitting out in moisture, moisture filled air. So, besides buying this and drying the filament for 12 hours, I had to do a couple of small modifications to this thing. So, this is it. I've never used a dehydrator before this. I uh, guess they're not just for jerky anymore, but uh, <clears throat> there's these trays that go inside where you're supposed to put your fruits, veggies, whatever you're going to dry in here. Uh, they're stackable, and you can actually buy these uh, rings from, or extra rings from Amazon as well. Uh, I'll put a link for both this dehydrator and the extra rings in the description below. Um, but I had to make one modification, obviously. So the filament wouldn't obviously fit between the trays as they are. So basically, each tray has this mesh plastic grate in there. And to make the filament fit between these, I basically took a pair of side snips and trimmed out the center. So all I did was go along and cut all this around there. It didn't take too long. It looks it looks painful, uh, but basically it allows you to set foam inside there. So in theory, you could stack this up even higher, put even more filament in if you wanted to. Uh, you really don't even need to put all these on here unless you need to put more filament in there. But that's basically all I did. Uh, I suppose you could design something and 3D print a version of this or make your own spacer. I think even on Thingiverse, I saw guys taking and putting a Tupperware container over top of this and saving the rest of this if you wanted to still use it for food for some reason. Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, pretty amazing in general. Uh, I did some videos of it printing just to prove that I did not do a post-processing trick with this and just remove it with the heat gun again. But this is in fact the second one and it printed pretty clean. So uh, definitely consider getting a food dehydrator if you've got any supply of filament and you need to store it for long term and you end up with, like I did, a little bit of filament just getting exposed to a little bit too much too much moisture. I guess it's in here now. So, pretty amazing. Uh, be a little more. You gotta be a little careful with the temperature. This goes all the way up to 160 F. Uh, most filaments that should be okay. Uh, I went a little lower on PLA because the things I read online about dehydrating your filament but said to be careful about taking that temp up too high with PLA. You can do it for a longer time at lower temperatures. Certainly if you're doing ABS, nylon, any of the higher temp filaments, go all the way up to 160F. And you should be able to dry it in 8 hours, 8 to 10 hours, something like that. Maybe even sooner. 
Uh, I just set it to run overnight and set it a little lower temperature just so I wouldn't have any issues with PLA. But other than that, uh, two thumbs up on this one. Definitely consider buying this and definitely consider using the link down below. Thanks again. Hope this helps. Consider subscribing.